Okay, I uh, tried to make a making a video for a friend of mine. He has some questions on uh, how to uh, operate a turbine uh, engine, especially a propane start engine. So uh, this is the fill fill for the uh, kerosene. I'm almost out of uh, the fuel, but basically you can see this thing fill the uh, to the tanks. So anyway, this thing has some fuel in there. We don't have to do this. We have to do everything with one hand. This is a plug. For the, uh, make sure this plug fits very tight. Otherwise, you might suck some air into the UAT tank and, you know, eventually the turbine will suck air instead of a fuel. So this goes here, under. And this fell. Let's just put this thing away. Okay. Okay, first thing. Plug in the power plug into the uh, ECU. Like this. Now we have a power to uh, for the turbine. Open the uh, fuel valve. Then we're gonna get the uh, propane. Propane we're hooking up to the uh, one-way valve. There's a one-way valve right here. Uh, it's kind of hard to uh, do this. But anyway, it's already connected to one-way valve. This is the uh, this side is the connect connector this stays on a hose we can open the valve the uh, the propane already because that thing is powered by solenoid so they will open and close when I need a propane we have the turner radio on we can connect the GCU it's not necessary but I connect the GCU it's uh, right here and then we turn this uh, receiver on Okay. Then the third, then everything is pretty much armed. After we can see the voltage and everything on the thing, on the uh, GCU. When we slide this uh, this trim all the way up, we should see these lights going and those lights going. Then we go full throttle right here, and the turbine will do everything basically automatically. We ignite. To already ignite the uh, propane. You can see.
trim those shot off. We can throw the trim down. That's it. Done. And then now this uh, ECU should set to a uh, cooling mode, and then we have uh, the whole operation done. So it's very simple and easy. You can close the uh, fuel valve. You don't have to, but it's better, especially when you refill. Then uh, if any solenoid is open, you're not gonna float the uh, turbine. So you can always close the uh, valve after operation. So. And just plug everything. Okay. And then we'll go all the way, all the way down to a 100 Celsius and then, then we'll stop. Okay. That's it.